guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy new year. Welcome 2017. So today's project is going to be really, really new and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. It's the very first of its kind and it's proudly Filipino. So are you guys ready to see it? In three, two, one, go! It's called the JNBM Paper Clay. And basically you get this board with like a design on it and you get to put clay, paper clay, on them and it'll dry out. So when I purchased this project, it came with a board and a design and I bought this for 250 pesos. At the back, you will find the clays in different colors so you can use any of them and it comes with two sticks. So it's fairly cheap and if you don't have enough money, you can buy the ones that are 150 to 100. They sell these at Market Market here in the Philippines, so if you're interested in buying one, go ahead and visit the mall. So I chose this design because it says prayer changes things and it's kind of a good reminder for me as I go each and every day of my life. So yeah, I'm really excited to share this project with you guys because it's the very first in the Philippines and it's a new year and we're gonna have a new project. So without further ado, let's go try it out. So the things you'll need for this project are the pre-designed canvas, your paper clays, and the two pointy sticks they provided. So when you apply your first color, make sure to really press the material against the empty canvas. The paper clay is soft, moist, and its texture is quite delicate. Proceed to do the same technique and continue to build your paper clay. It's basically like coloring in your color book, except with this one, you're using colored paper clays. It might take some time getting used to the technique, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to work faster. If your clay starts to dry, simply add a couple of drops of water into your small container and it should be good to go. I chose to color in only a selected portion of the canvas to emphasize the details. When the clay dries on the canvas, it becomes tough and rough in texture, and the colors turn brighter than when you started. In general, this project was really fun to do, but I recommend this type of art for people who are very patient, pays a lot of attention to details, and also has a lot of time to commit, because this specific project takes some time to finish, but the end result is truly fulfilling. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this new project. And if you are interested in trying it out, visit their website www.blah or I'll leave the links down below and flash their social media on the screen. I'd also like to give a special thank and shout out to Ian and May for helping me choose my design and also teaching me how to play with the technique of the paper clay project. Also, let's not forget the founder and CEO of this project. Her name's Sue Morales. Thank you so much and I really enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in this project and if you really liked it too. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated in future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'd also... And thanks for helping me. Um, thank you to... Uh, find the perfect project and the CEO oh, tries again helping me design <laughs>